Hey everyone, today I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series number 81 Wheeljack from the Transformers Bumblebee movie. And I still cannot get over how smaller the uh, Studio Series package is. But anyways, got an open window that displays the figure. Uh, nice image right here of Wheeljack. It says Autobot. has an Autobot logo. It says Wheeljack right there. Studio Series number 81 Transformers on the side. On this side, you got an image of Wheeljack. On the other side, you got a close-up image on his face. It kind of looks like he has a lazy eye. On the back, he has some product shots of him as robo mode, his vehicle mode, transforms in 31 steps, surprisingly. And on the top, you got Transformers Bumblebee. On the bottom, you got uh, Lego stuff. And there's a barcode on the back as well. So let's, let me uh, go ahead and open this guy up because I'm very excited. Getting him out of the packaging, I really like how this uh, guy turned out. He is super super nice so uh, taking a look at the head scope here i think that out of all of the new cybertronian uh figures to come out with the bumby movie i think will jack has the best head scope in my opinion because it looks really really nice uh, i really like the gunmetal gray around the head and the blue eyes he got some silver right there for his mouth plate and also some metallic blue for his like little ear things that light up when he talks that's really cool and then you got some sculpted detail around the neck area. And then some detail on the shoulders. There's a little wing thing, or wing things that uh, like stick out of the shoulders. And more detail right there on the arm. I don't really like this little thing that sticks out right here, but you can just take it off and that looks a lot better. But since I like all my figures to be 100% complete and not like um change in any way um uh, i'm just gonna keep that on there you got the same on this side and then the chest area i think it looks really cool you got the autobot logo right there green and then like just the front of the his vehicle mode which looks really nice and then the crotch area you got some detail in there as well and some more scope to detail on the legs and also right there in that part where the thigh uh, rotation is and more detail here you got some green right there painted pretty cleanly and more on that side and then the foot right here which is painted white which doesn't really match that well with the um with the molded plastic white but it it actually doesn't really look that bad and turning them around you got more of that detail on the back right here which i think is actually accurate to the movie not really too sure i might need to check that but and also you got uh, these wheels back here he cleans up really really nicely really like how this guy turned out for his accessories he comes with is a gun right here looks really nice he got some nice detail on it and it's pretty it's not hollow either so that's nice so nice detail there. It, this part, um, it makes me think that this is like a shotgun type weapon, but it can, of course, plug into the hand. It's kind of a tight fit though, but you can get some nice cool poses with that right there. And also if you pop that off, you can, there's a port right here where that, that thing will uh, plug into and you can store it on the back and that looks really cool. I really like how that looks. So uh, for accessories is, pretty nice i also forgot to mention there's the serial number right there uh, i guess that's in a um fine place maybe it would have i would have liked it as a bit more hidden maybe somewhere mm, i don't know if it would fit on the go anywhere under the foot but figure looks really nice I like that uh so uh yes measure him to see how tall he is so he stands at about I think exactly about four and three quarters inches tall. So a uh, pretty short guy. And here he is next to his wave mates, uh, Ratchet and Soundwave. And this, uh, I, don't, I don't really know if this is a proper scaling anyway, because I didn't, we didn't really see these two next to Will Jack. But from, from what I can tell, I guess it's a pretty good scale. Uh, here is him next to Starscream for some more uh, Cybertronian uh, scaling right there. Here I have him next to uh, old teeny tiny Ravage over here. Here he is next to some Earth Mode designs like Optimus Prime and Dropkick. 
And of course, we got to compare him next to his G1 counterpart. I have Urfrez Wojcik over here. And I really like how Travis Knight didn't just directly take this and then put it into CGI. He took elements from this design and put it into this design. And it just made it look really, really cool. Very uh, modern-esque, like, would, if you would like to say like that. So I really like how this design turned out. For the articulation on this guy, there is a ball drum up the head. Allows him to look up very far, look down pretty far. You got some head tilt right there and also some rotation. So head is pretty well articulated. There is a ball joint at the arm or shoulder can go up that far, rotate around 360. These things are on a hinge. And also, let me just mention a QC issue I have. This uh, little part right here won't tab in at all. When I first got this figure out of the box, uh, it did tab in for like a day or two. And then, with the, when, then when I posed them to put them on the shelf, it didn't want to tab in anymore. So that's very unfortunate, but I guess I'm just going to have to deal with that. There is a bicep rotation, double bend at the elbow, which is really cool. But I'm pretty sure yeah, it's due to transformation. Uh, no wrist rotation, unfortunately, but there is a waist rotation. Ball joint at the hip can kick up that far, kick back that far, can go out that far. Thigh rotation, single jointed bend at the knee. There is a hinge up there and also a ball joint at the foot. So it can go up, back, and ankle pivot, but no rotation because I guess there's too much stuff blocking it there. But articulation is, he's fairly articulated. And that's, yeah, I really like that transformation time so let me just raise this camera up a bit so uh first we're going to turn around right here and hinge these fins back and then th this is already untabbed but untab that so then we can pull this section back right here and hinge that down right there rotate the head around doesn't matter which way you rotate it as long as this uh part is facing towards you and then you want to rotate these arms up, take this whole section, cordon that out, and flatten that right there. Take this, plug that into there, rotate this out, and then you want to rotate this whole area in right there, and that arm's going to be sticking up. Same thing on this side, and then you want to tab that in like so. Rotate this whole waist around. And you want to hinge these up for clearance. You want to take this, that already untabbed from there. But rotate this around and that tab will go into that slot right there. Tab that in. Then you want to take this. Uh, that will pop up and then rotate around. Push it back in. And then take this. Was that on? I'll show you on that side if it wasn't on camera on this side. Take that. That will tab in right there. And rotate that around like that. So... Same thing on this side, like untab this, that will rotate around and that will tab in to there. And then you want to take this, pull that out, rotate it around, push it back in right there. So take this, this slot will go into this little hook right there. That will just plug in right there, rotate that down, then tab those two sections in and we're almost done here take this top part and then this oh well those tabs don't really tab anything but there's uh there's some tabs right here that will go into slots right there so just push that down and tab that in like so then take the head just push it in under there and then take this section fold it like so and then these tabs right here will go into those slots right there. Just push it in like that. And take these, fold those out like so. And there you have Ujak in this really cool looking vehicle mode. And here he is in his vehicle mode, which I think looks really, really nice. I really like how this turned out. So you see right here, looking at details, I really like all this clean paint right here with the red and the green. More green right there, same on this side. 
And you got these headlights right here, which is clear plastic because all the underside of the foot is clear plastic. And then you got this windshield right here, which really like how it was designed. And you got the red paint done right there. And the wheels is clear plastic as well with some paint on it. That green stripe again, which references like all the green on wheel jack right here, which I really like that a lot. And then you got these uh, like spoiler type stuff right there, which I think. Mm. And also more clear plastic uh, wheels right there with some paint on it. You got like what I think might be like, it looks like it would be like um, door hinges, but of course like the doors wouldn't be right here. It would be somewhere right here. Also, you can't even really get in this car. Not that I see where you can even get in it. Yeah, it looks really cool from the top. I like how this uh, piece right here um, folds down into that. They could have left it like this if they wanted to, but they um, fold it, made it fold back like that. Which I really like how they did that. The back is the only bad looking part of this vehicle mode, but I actually like this vehicle mode more than all the other Cybertronian modes looks really nice and on the side also doesn't look that bad either and he does roll very well as well so uh measuring this car you can see wheel jack it's about even here on me so i can actually fit this seems that he's almost no he's about four and a quarter inches long and about one and a half inches tall. So comparing him next to some more Cybertronian modes. Right here, yeah, my opinion, Will Jack is the best looking one out of all of these, out of all these vehicle modes. Obviously Soundwave is the worst because what the hell even is that? I want to see him next to Earth mode. Here's Optimus Prime. And also, of course, here's Will Jack. Earth mode version of Will Jack. Yeah, looks really, really cool next to each other. And I forgot to show you how to store the gun. So there's like, there's two slots there that this tab can go in either one of them so you can have it like that or backwards if you drop the damn accessory. Can you have it backwards? I don't think you can, so I don't know why there's two right there. I guess to keep it even. Or if you wanna do mm, can't work. So it only works like like that. And I actually like how that stores it with the Cybertronian stuff, it uh, with the weapons stored on them. It just kind of looks like that the weapons just formed right out the top of the vehicle motor, wherever it stores. And then it looks like they're just shooting at the other Decepticons, which is really nice. Really like how this vehicle mode turned out. So yes, get him back into his robe mode and give him his score. So overall, I really like this Wheeljack figure. I love the detail. I love how I love how it transforms. I love how the vehicle mode looks. Looks really, really nice. And articulation is pretty, pretty good as well. So uh, overall, I'm going to have to give this Wheeljack figure a, uh, I think a 9 out of 10. Because I don't really like these too much. And that's really the only issue I have with it. And also I have a loose uh, thing right there. Some QC issues with the tabs. But anyway, that's it for this review. I'll see you next time. Bye.